this video, like many things in life, initially started out low-key as a joke and then um, quickly got out of hand. <laughs> Hello, today I will be sharing gift ideas for the fanfic cryptid in your life. Whether it's for the holidays, a birthday, congratulations, there's a lot of options for you. Let's get into it. <coughs> Tissues for crying over fic. Hopefully just for crying over fic, but hey, I won't judge. Hey, yo! Materials for them to get cozy with while they read. Blankets, oversized loungewear, fuzzy socks, hand warmers, heating pads. That way they can build their reading nook or nest to be comfortable and warm so they can wail in despair or roll around when something cute happens. A designated pillow or plush for them to wrangle and throw across the room when things in a fic get too intense. This is an important one. Every fic reader needs something to vent their frustrations on when the characters are being stupid. Or to punch when the secondhand embarrassment gets to be too much. Or to smack when a misunderstanding occurs. Or simply to squeeze when a lot is happening and the emotions start bubbling over. That way they don't just yeet their phone or iPad or computer at the wall and cause permanent property damage. A cute ambient light or nightlight. That way when they're up at 3 a.m. staring at their screen reading, they're not gonna be totally in the dark ruining their eyes. And it's a nice mood maker. Try to get one that changes color. They can make it pink and pastel-y when it's fluffy, red when it's intense, blue when it's sad. You get the picture. A nice tumbler or water bottle. Bonus points if you include stickers of their favorite media so they can slap it on for decoration if they want. Cause I know fanfic and we forget to hydrate. Make sure your fanfic stays hydrated, especially if they're deep in the angst or fix -its. One of those nice text-to-speech apps with the natural sounding voices so they can put their favorite fix into it and have it read it for them. Essentially, it's letting them make their own pod fix, which are audiobooks for fanfiction. It's a great way for them to enjoy fix they love on the go when they're in the middle of doing something like cooking or cleaning or when they just don't have the energy to read. The one I personally use is called Speechify, not sponsored by the way, but there's lots of options out there for you to explore. Be sure to take a good look at the, the app's features. If you pick a nice one, one, they can listen to as many fix as they want and choose the voice narrating. So if they really wanted to, they could have a British guy reading them a smutty bedtime story. An external hard drive to save all their favorite fix on and keep them safe in the worst case scenario where they're deleted off the face of the planet. That way they can save space in their computer and have everything tucked away in something they can see. If you want something that isn't tangible proof of your addiction to fictional relationships and degeneracy, a subscription to a file storage service like Google Drive or Dropbox are excellent alternatives, especially since they can be accessed on mobile as well fanfic themed stickers and prints and pins on Redbubble and Etsy. There are some really great creative ones out there. Subtle fanfic apparel to be a dork with taste. Or fanfic trope candles to get in the mood. Shameless plug right there. Oops. <laughs> Gather lotions, bath bombs, soaps, nail polishes, etc. that evoke a certain vibe or aesthetic or feeling of their favorite character or ship or fanfic, and then shove them all in a cute basket or box with pictures and a card and a label explaining what it is. And what you've got is basically the physical manifestation of a mood board for them to relax, pamper themselves, and soak in their brain rot. It's a nice personal way to convey that you care about them and their interests. Create QR codes of their favorite fix and turn them into stickers or one of those acrylic stands they can stick on their desk or shelf. You could also compile them into a nice mock menu and then print that out. Stick the QR codes around their house, hide them in their belongings like a feral cat. If you want something more spontaneous, then put the QR codes in a jar and your friend could pick one out at random and read at their leisure. A customized mug with their favorite fanfic tags. There's several different sites out there you can use to do customized mugs. Get on AO3, screenshot and gather some of their favorite tags, slap them on a mug and there you go. It's a fun way to kick off their morning coffee or tea. Create or find playlists for a handful of their favorite fix. Pretty straightforward, especially if the fanfics are associated with certain songs in the first place or if there's a clear mood present and it helps your friend feel more immersed. If you don't want to make playlists for specific fanfics, then you can always go the more general route and go for genres. For instance, a playlist for her comfort or friends to lovers or found family. A list of personalized fanfic recommendations. This might be a bit daunting and challenging to do, especially if you're not in any of their fandoms and they read a lot of fic as it is. But if you're willing to put in the time and work, what you can do is get a list of fandoms they're in. Comb through social media to find what fix fan artists, writers, and other fandom people are talking about. A lot of creators in fandom have good taste. If you're ballsy, save some Twitter threads or dig through Tumblr. And if you're lucky, you'll stumble across fic rec lists people have already made. You can go on AO3 yourself as well, and while it is likely that your friend has gone through the most popular fics in that fandom, 
you can go deeper into the pages and see if you can find anything that looks like it'd be up their alley. Or go through some of the newer works that have been updated or posted recently since new content is constantly being thrown out there, unless the fandom is small or older. Go through the bookmarks of the authors of Promising Fix, go through the bookmarks of the authors of those fix, and when you're satisfied with your searching, compile everything into a nice Google Doc or spreadsheet and there you go. Just be wary that if they're a very avid reader, there's a good chance they already made their way through a good chunk of what you found. But if you play your cards right and are extra sneaky and thorough in your curation, or you just straight up ask them how much fic they read or if they've already read X fic, congratulations, you are now a fanfiction peddler. It's like gifting them a bunch of new books. Or you could go the opposite route and try to find the wildest, strangest, most bizarre fics out there, put that into a list, and then give it to them for funsies. <laughs> Imagine if there was an actual service you could pay for, like a professional fanfic peddler where you could pay them to essentially find a bunch of fics that you want to read. <laughs> like I want this tag, this tag, this tag, not this tag, and make sure it's complete. <laughs> Bookbind, their favorite fanfic or fanfics. This one is more labor intensive, especially if you want to make it super fancy and intricate, but if you want to put in the work, there are plenty of guides out there for how to legally bookbind fanfiction. It's a sweet and fun project to put your time into, you may come out of it with a new hobby or skill, and what better way to celebrate their favorite work than by gifting it to them in physical form. Just be sure to check in with the author to make sure they're cool with it. A fanfic scrapbook. Collect their favorite scenes, snippets, quotes from fan fics they love, get as many as you can, print the bits and bobs out, stick them in a nice journal or notebook, and go ham with the decorating. Incorporate stickers, pictures, scraps that are related to the fic. You could even combine the QR code idea from before and have a QR code to the fic on the page with all the scenes and quotes and whatnot. That way they can easily revisit it when they're going through the scrapbook. You can go full crackhead and make it as silly as you want, or you can go serious and make it super touching and sweet, or just full grandma mode. It's fun, crafty, and makes for a nostalgic memento in the future. Make a movie poster of a fic they enjoy. You could go as plain, detailed, or abstract as you want. If you're savvy or comfortable with graphic design, then you could do it yourself, or you could just have someone do it for you. <laughs> Commission fan art for a fanfic they love. You can help support an artist. Fic authors really appreciate it when their work is given the love and attention it deserves. And who doesn't love gorgeous fan art of something that lives in their head rent free? No joke, if a friend did this for me, I would dead ass cry on the spot. <laughs> Try to double check to make sure the fanfic author is okay with it first though. Commission a fanfic for them. If you're able to find a fic writer in your friend's fandom that has open commissions, I always see them advertising on Twitter. Check out their work, see if you like their style and if what they write aligns with your friend's interests. And if you're able to work it out, you'll have an awesome individually tailored gift for your friend, not to mention you're helping support a writer too. Make sure what you're commissioning is something your friend would enjoy. Double check with them what sort of things they gravitate towards, what they avoid, what sort of dynamics they like, like, yada yada, but if you're able to do this, it's a surefire way to make them absolutely lose it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this gift guide helpful. If there are any other gift ideas for fanfic lovers in your life that come to mind, then feel free to throw them in the comments and share them with everyone who's looking for a little bit of gift inspiration. I'm like Leslie Note from Parks and Rec when it comes to gift giving. It's one of my main love languages, and I love putting thought and care into each gift, thinking about, okay, what do I know about this person, and how can I translate that into my love for them through this gift. Anyways, thank you again so much for watching. Let me know if you used any of the ideas from this video yourself, and I'll see you next time.